Allie Matthews had just weeks to live when she received a liver transplant two days before her first birthday. Born with a rare severe liver disease, the tiny infant had to wait seven months for an organ donation her parents say not only changed her life but that of another person who received the other half of the liver she was given. Five days after she was born Allie was so sick she had be airlifted to Sydney for care and at the age of five months she was put on the transplant list. We waited seven months and it was excruciating, says Allie's mum Claire Leonard. At that point there was a drought, ten months when there were no pediatric transplants, says Ms. Leonard. Allie had to be fed via a tube, she couldn't gain weight and had to be hospitalized regularly because of infections. She really only had two three weeks left when the transplant happened, says Claire. It was transforming for us because she accelerated from being a very sick little girl to a very healthy girl, she says. The donor was a young adult and the liver they donated was split with the front pointy end going to Ali and the rest to help an adult with liver disease. The liver and the brain are the two organs medical science can't replicate with medical science and transplants are vital. People with kidney disease can rely on dialysis and there are machines and devices that can help those with heart and lung disease, says Ms. Leonard. Allie, now aged five, has been to London twice accompanying her mother who was there attending conferences. You have this incredible sense of not wanting them to miss out on anything and celebrate the value of life, she says. Allie's parents helped set up Liver Kids Australia to help other families with children go through the transplant process. And they were so pleased to learn that recently Weston Hospital had no children at all on the waiting list for a liver transplant thanks to improvements in Australian organ donation rate. The family is urging all Australians to consider registering to donate their organs after they die. Families need to be aware you can give life to not just one person but many people, Ms. Leonard said. Changes to the organ matching scheme in Australia means the organs of younger donors will more likely go to younger transplant recipients. News Corp has learned the Turnbull government has approved a new computerized Australian organ matching system to begin in June 2018 that will allow more specific age matching of donors and recipients. recipients.